If once video starts, the code for this calculator will be in the description down below. It's a pastebin protected by a password. If you want the password, all you have to do is subscribe, take a screenshot of that, and DM uh, any of the staff on the server. Be polite, please. I don't want them to get mad. And then, you know, they'll just give you the code, and there you go. Anyways, enjoy the video. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy here, Glossy Back, with another video. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys, finally, you guys asked for this so much, calculator in discord.py buttons so let's actually get into it so i did do like a completely new script here because um we're gonna need it. it's like eh, a bit of code a lot of it's just an array which uh you guys can find in the paste bin if you want to write it out by yourself you can i will not be because it's huge and it's like half the code so Here's the array that I got here. Um, if any of you guys, you know, want this array or you guys can just type it out right here. Just go to the paste bin. I already went over this in the start of the video. Okay, so let's actually get into it. What we're going to start off by doing is creating a function called calculator. Um, now what we want to do is add xp, exp, that which is going to be expression. And then we can have o equals exp dot replace and this will be actually calculating whatever code that we put into it so over here we can also do this so what well, basically this equals is this right here the asterisk is multiplication and that's how you like do it in text form and it's just the x to show that it's multiplying we can do the same thing over here equals o dot replace and then over here, we're gonna get the division sign. Now, you can just search up the uh, division symbol like so, and you can get it, or you could just take it from my page if you've subscribed. And then add a slash and just end it off like so. Now that you have that, you can do result equals uh, just an empty quotation. And then we can do try result equals str so this will get the what do you call it, everything that we have into a string instead of like numbers string evaluate and then just zero i guess and then do expect and not ex expect accept my bad um and then when i actually spell accept wrong i spell expect my bad uh what you want to do is here just go to result and then make this an error occur. This usually won't happen, but just in the off chance that it does, you have like, you know, some safety for it. And then we just want to res return result at the end. Now that we actually have the logic for calculating our number, we can make the command itself. And this may be a long command, so, you know, it's up to you. And you just want to do client.command or bot.command, whatever you have. And we could do async def. And I'm going to call this command calc. So, and open it up. Now, once you've opened it up, you can do m equals 08 ctx.send content equals, because this is going to be, um, what do you call it? It's going to be in a button form, so you're going to need content gonna be loading calculator and I'm gonna start some zip and now you can do expression equals none like so and then do delta equals date time dot date time dot utc now like so like that and then you just want to add it to the same thing date time plus time delta and then minutes equals five so basically what this will do is after five minutes passes it will automatically disable the calculator just so it can preserve you know like your things or your resources equals discord 
dot embed and then over here we can have title equals and f string this title actually because we can do ctx author dot name and now we're gonna you're gonna have to do this um even if you don't want to because um this is how it verifies who it who's actually using the calculator you're gonna have to do ctx the author i this is the easiest way i found to do it and this is just so when you're using the calculator somebody else also can't do things on the calculator now here we go we can do description equals expression and um we can do timestamp equals delta and then end that off and now we can do m dot edit and by the way m means like message i guess that's what i kept it as and do a oh, wait actually oh wait m dot edit and that's because we made this expression uh with the variable m so we can easily edit so what we're gonna add it into is we're gonna add it into components equals buttons and then embed equals e now you're asking hey what's this well basically what components will do is we just made a huge array here or you can just check in the basement but this will just grab it and actually display all of our buttons Yes, you guys can change up the colors however you like. This is just the default, and this is the same thing I use for Project Glow of my bot. This is all up to you once more. And then this will also display the embed. So it will display the embed and then the buttons below it. And now, what we're gonna need is a while loop. So this will keep on refreshing the thing, refreshing the, what do you call it? The buttons, so you can put in multiple inputs. So now you can do while and dot, Create it at underscore at it's gonna do delta so as long delta so it will make sure that as long as delta which is five minutes is more than how much time the embed has been there for it will keep running this the second it becomes it goes past five minutes it's gonna stop running and it will just help to save your resources and now we can do res equals await client dot wait underscore four and then do a button underscore click. So every it will wait until a button click appears. And then we can do if res dot author dot id equals equals int res dot message dot embeds and then add zero to so the first embed dot title so this will grab the title and it will and if we add dot split so this will split it at whatever we add so over here so it will split this it'll get this is like one side and this second side and now we can do and inside that split little character there we can add another like right here say uh in the end and add this so what this will basically do once more is it'll grab the second split in here it will just grab the second part that split because it's one and it starts off with zero and then and res dot message message embeds and now boom what this will do is this is when we actually edit the embed and display our results but most of the hard work has been already done this is just if statements and such like that so what we can do is actually close this off we don't need this um and do zero as zero and then go timestamp dot timestamp and we don't actually want to split this we can just do delta so once again, this will just make sure that Delta is all, uh, this is all behind Delta and Delta, it's not been five minutes yet, basically. And now we can do expression equals res dot message dot embed. Um, 
I can't spell in beds. That's your dot description, and this will just be editing the description. Now we can do if expression. This will just get whatever is inside the description, and we can do if expression if if expression equals none or expression equals. And you just want to make sure this is exactly what it says here, or else it will not work. So like that. And actually take out the side of that by accident. What it will do is it will do it will just clear what exp whatever expression is. Now we can do if res dot component dot label equals exit. So basically let's say you press the exit button, it will just cancel everything. That's all we're doing here. We can do await res dot respond and do content equal eraser close and that type equals seven. So now, what does this do? Let's say we click the exit button. What it will do is it will change this little content here to calculator close and it will close the calculator. And then we can add a break after that. And the breaks are usually used for breaking out of loops, like a for loop, a while loop, stuff like that. And then returns are used to break out the functions and if statements. Just, you know, if you didn't know. And now we can do elif res.component. Dot label equals equals and now this is gonna be arrow basically and this is for backspace so if we do this you could change this to backspace or something but you will have to update this or just grab it from here whatever you choose um you can do expression equals nope I can't type express expression equals expression and then negative one so what this will do is do just backspace it once for you pretty handy and now we can do another elif if this is getting a bit boring i apologize component dot label who could have guessed and if it says clear then once again this is just you can change up all the names for it just make sure you change up the corresponding label for it and then we can do expression equals none now let's say it's once again an elif, and who could have guessed it's this again. It is if expression equals equals equal mark equals sign. So if you want to get like you know the answer to this, we can do expression equals calculate or it's not calc I, I don't know calculator and pass in expression. And basically this will just take whatever you put in slap it into this little function here it will get the result and then it will uh, keep that as expression and now we can do finally else we got rid of this res and stuff expression plus equal so if you post in anything else it will mean it's most likely gonna be a number so i mean it is we did all the other possible solutions and then do label plus equals dot label like so and then do f equals f equals i'm not sure that's how it is and then yeah we can do nah i think it is f equals discord dot embed and then title equals f string that and once again res dot author dot name and we're using res here because this is inside of a function or while loop my bad and then that so like let's say glows or glow sticks cal -culate. just letting everybody know it's glow sticks you know and then we can put in another one saying res dot author dot id because we're going to need this again when we check again within the while loop 
and then we can add description equals expression and timestamp equals delta I can get that there you go and now we can just do await res.respond and this is literally the last line of code that we got here home straight content equals nothing really because we're gonna have an embed which the content is and we can have that embed equals f and then components equals buttons and then have this type equal seven and believe it or not that's it okay so here we are in my discord um we're really on the brink of 500 one more push i believe we can get it and if i just do d calc so on the command as you guys can see it pops up perfectly and let's do two plus two and now equals there you go they work perfectly you know you can use this to cheat on your mat i saw no just don't tell the teacher i did it and we can even click exit and it says calculator closed and it, none of the buttons will work as you guys can see it will say interaction failed see there you go because you know it's done it's just not gonna work and yeah i really hope you enjoyed uh thanks for watching today's video if you did be sure to subscribe it really helps out the channel you guys asked for this one and also pop is swag i lost your bet for that one anyways till next time see ya